Hey, so today I'm here to do a first impression video on the Hard Candy Glamouflage Mix-In Pigment Makeup Drops. I'm pretty sure these are $7 at Walmart and I guess you could get them somewhere online or something. I don't know, I got mine at Walmart. And what it says online is, highly concentrated liquid pigments that allow you to customize any face product for coverage or shade. Squeeze the dropper and add drops to any daily moisturizer or primer to create a custom foundation. The more drops you add, the higher the coverage. You can also add light or dark drops to any liquid makeup to custom match to your skin tone. Uh, let me go ahead and say I have a dumb poop emoji band-aid on my finger because this fingernail hurts and also most of my fingernails are gone right now except for these. <laughs> and I cut these really low and they just look like shit. I'm just too lazy to like rip them off or soak them off. So what I want to do today is just use this as a foundation on, on its own and see how it works. Because I've done that with the Cover FX drops, which I love them. And I think this is supposed to be like, you know, some type of little dupey thing for them. I haven't really heard the best things about this, honestly. It, I don't think I've heard anyone really say that this is like really similar to the custom cover drops, but I want to try it for myself. So anyway, I don't even want to use this for mixing. I just want to use it as a foundation on its own and see how it covers and how it wears. Okay, so mine is in the shade Light 3, which is actually darker than I was thinking it would be because I had to put on self tanner to be able to wear the shade. But I've shaken it quite a lot because it says shake well on it. Looks like this. Looks pretty liquidy. Um, I'm going to put on a primer. I'm going to use my Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer because I like this primer and I use it in all of my first impression videos to be consistent. Okay, so for half of my face, I'm gonna use a brush and the other half I'm gonna use a wet sponge. This is a sponge I got from Shop Miss A. It's like an AOA brand sponge, I think is what it was. It was a dollar. The oven is going off in the other room, so if you hear that, ignore it. Okay, so I've got some on my hand and this dropper actually works really good, which is surprising because a lot of droppers suck asshole and all of this just came out of one pump from the dropper thing. So I guess I'm gonna start with a brush. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques buffing brush I think for half my face. There's a lot of noise happening out there. Just, just let it happen. Okay so I feel like this has a lot of coverage on its own. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say. Okay I feel like I put way too much on my face right now, you might only need a little tiny bit to, to, to do your to do your face because I may have got way too much. So my only issue with um, the Cover FX drops as being used as foundation is that they do not last long at all on their own. So I was thinking maybe this would, and dude, this has good coverage. I was watching somebody, she mixed it in with the foundation, I think. I, I think that's what she did, but she was saying that it was good for changing the color of the foundation, but it wasn't good for adding coverage, and she thinks it made her foundation more sheer, which is weird, because I think that this has extremely, extremely full coverage at the moment. I know I'm using it on its own, but you wouldn't think that putting this in something else would make it more sheer. I got that in all, all over in my hair. It's all up in the hair. It seems to be blending out pretty good. I think a lot of the streaks are starting to go away. My face looks very velvety or something. I don't know. It looks, I don't know. Maybe I have too much on. <laughs> I'm just going to try to take the sponge and do the other side of my face and see what happens. I feel like for some reason it's looking lighter on this side of my face. I don't know if that side oxidized or having it mixed with water is making it lighter. I'm going to go over this side though because I feel like there was so much fucking product over here. I'm going to try to pick some of it up. Okay, so I used everything that was on my hand and it covered my whole face like that was the perfect amount and i feel like right now it looks really super smooth i think it got a little bit more cakey using the brush and maybe because i packed way too much on but the sponge kind of helped it look a little bit better but this looks <laughs> really perfect and flawless i think it's kind of actually drying on its own i bet this would be good to use as just like concealer if you have any pimples you want to cover up because it's like super thin, but really good coverage. I have a pimple up here that I can still see. Like it's not s such amazing coverage that it's just completely disappeared. But it's seeming to be a lot better than all the other foundations I've been using recently. Okay, so I guess I'll show you what it looks like up close. <laughs> if you care to see. I feel like it looks really smooth. 
and really good coverage and I think I like it right now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go now and finish the rest of my face makeup and I'm going to set my face because I always do. And if you wanna know anything that's on my face right now, I'll have it listed in, 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 in the description box below, just in case you're curious. The heat just kicked on. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back in a little bit to tell you what I think about how it looks when, by the time that I'm finished. Okay, so I finished all of my makeup and <laughs> my face just looks really <laughs> super flawless. It looks really good. Um, I feel like it almost kind of looks like how my NARS, what are you called? All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is my favorite foundation ever. I feel like it kind of looks like how this does and it kind of applied like it. But that one has good wear and I'm the only thing I need to know now is if this one has good wear or not because it looks perfect <laughs> and has really good coverage and I'm having no problems with it right now. So what I'm gonna do is wear this for as long as I can. Not sure how long that'll be, but it's 7.39 right now. You can see that. PM, yes, I do my makeup very late. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I'm gonna wear this for as many hours as I can and then I'll come back and we'll see if it holds up or if it turns out looking like shit, which would be very, very not good. So yeah, I'll be back soon and we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so I'm back, finally. I feel like I've been gone from my house for like a million hours. It's 8.29 right now. If you can even see that tiny thing, probably fucking not. Just take my word for it. It's 8.30 in the morning. So when did I get my makeup done? It's probably about eight. So we gotta say it's been like 12 and a half hours. Oh God, that is like so long. Um, but honestly though, my face don't look that bad. Like, it is starting to rub off on my nose and getting a little breaky uppy right there. My wrinkles aren't amazing looking, but they're not horrible. I'll zoom you in, because it's very important that you see this. Um, it looks pretty good, kind of cakey around the nose and on the nose. So it looks like it looks good, but it don't look good because then again, I've been wearing it for like 12 hours, but it actually did better than I expected. And honestly, I think it did better than wearing the Cover FX drops for like a whole day because those did not last well at all. My highlight is still on. I can totally still see that. My contour slightly. This side is like quite off. It's not much going on over there. So I might've been laying on it or something. So, I mean, really? Like, it doesn't look great right now, but it doesn't look bad, I don't think. Like, I would definitely wear that again as a foundation. I think it would hold up perfectly fine throughout the day. It's worn off a bit around my nose. And I was, like, rubbing my nose and stuff. Down there, it's worn off a bit. But yeah, I think that's all that I have to say for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye!